Power BI apps are a great way for you to share all the reports, dashboards, and any other related material in one place with your business users. They are much better than giving the access to workspaces to your business users. Today, let's create your very first Power BI app in under 10 minutes. This is what we are gonna build. We are gonna create a Power BI app for our awesome chocolates and list all the reports and dashboards that we want to show there as well as create two sets of audience, sales executives and finance people, so each team can see their reports in that same app. Let's go. Start by going to app.powerbi.com and log in with your account. Once you're here, you can go into the workspaces and select the workspace for which you want to create an app. An important thing to remember here is each workspace can only have one app. So here I have got a demos workspace and I want to build an app for this. Now you can see that I already have an app. So this is going to say update app, but for you, it will say create an app. I have unpublished the existing app. So now let's create a brand new app. I'm going to click on this create app button and let's give our app a name. You can also add a logo for your app and set up the color theme for your app. There are a few additional settings that we can customize, but let's go and add content to our app. Here you can add any of the reports and dashboards that are in the workspace into this app. So let's add content. Once you select all the reports and dashboards you want to add, click on this add button and now you have got all the reports here. You can expand to see what is here. You can also move them around to create a new structure here. One thing that you may want to do is from a reporting perspective, we might actually create a name like policies hyphen dashboard, but in the app, you may want to call this as policies analysis or something like that. You can just double click and type whatever detail you want here. So I've named my reports as policy analysis, chocolate sales, hotel bookings, and finance KPIs. Awesome Chocolates is a big company. Next, let's add some audience to our apps. Here, you can create different audiences for the app. So I'm thinking we'll create two sets of audiences. One are the sales executives who get to see the chocolate sales and hotel bookings information. And the other are the finance people who will see policy and finance KPIs. So we can Click on the very first one, that is the default audience that got created. I'm gonna double click and re rename this as sales execs. And I'm gonna give permissions to specific users. So this would be Barfoni in the sales team, and of course myself. And let's add one more audience. This is the finance team. And here, let's add the boss man. Next, for each of the audiences that we are creating, let's assign the pages. So I'm gonna go into the sales XX. While you select a specific audience, in this case sales XX, we can decide which reports and tabs are visible for them. So for example, sales executives should not see the policy or the KPI stuff. So I'm gonna uncheck these eyeballs for them. And for finance team, let's hide all the sales stuff. So now we have created two sets of audience and assigned the individual tabs or reports to them. That's it, our app is now ready. Let's go ahead and publish. So here is the link for your app. You can share this link with your team members so that they can straight away access it. I'm just gonna copy this. Let me show you how this app looks for a sales executive. So let's log in as Barfoni. And while we are here, you can actually go into the apps area and click on get apps and you will see the awesome chocolates app that we just published. This is one way to get the app. Alternatively, they can also paste the link in the browser and directly get into the app. So now we are seeing the app as the sales executive. As you can see, they can only access these reports, the chocolate sales one and the hotel bookings one. They can't get into the finance or the policy information. Everything else inside the app is similar to how the report looks inside the service without all the extra bells and whistles. You can do more customizations to the app like adding extra links or creating different sections if you have got lots of information to share with your team. And if I log in as a finance person like Bossman in this case, when I go to the app as a finance person, 
I will see the policy analysis and the finance KPI reports for me. So an app provides kind of like one place where you can organize all your reports and dashboards and share them seamlessly with your audience. If someone doesn't have access to the app, they can send a request when they go to this page and you as the app owner will get a permission request and you can approve it so that they can access this app. Now, if you're wondering how to make these reports before you can make that app, here is a video that you should watch. I'll catch you out there. Bye.